everybody. I was out in the field today and I came across this and in under a minute I opened it, removed the key, took the box entirely and the locks the key was for. How do you feel about that? And I figured out by way of whatever the code was here uh, what the code was for another lockbox on the property that contains keys and bypass codes for the security alarm. So, yeah, not a very secure building. And okay, so here we have the kitty box. Everybody's familiar with this guy, huh? And just like the videos say, you hold this down and you press these hard with something and it makes the block move, see? That's the only button that uh, is working in this case is zero. But I thought it was a little weird that after all these videos that have been made about this, uh, that nobody showed you why it's so easy. So I thought I would do that today. I've already got two screws out. I'm just gonna pause it and take the other two out. Okay, before we continue, I wanted to point out something in the key box, which is, this is the bottom, this is the top, and contrary to popular belief, there is not much of a lip there. That's a pretty rinky-dinky lip, and I think we could bypass it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But, that being said, in the back of this, there's four star-shaped screws. And you wouldn't believe how ridiculous this thing is when we open it. I was a little sketchy the first time. I thought I was going to break something, but there's nothing in there to break. So here's the back plate. And it's just, you know, holds these guys in, in place here. And what these are is they're spring-loaded inside the button. Right, give it a second. It'll try and focus, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. So, that, that skinny part down here by my left thumb, it goes down into the push button. And But all we really care about is this notch by my finger. If you notice, there's one on either side here. See? So from the... Oops. Oh, now I've got it done. Let me sit this back down in there. I popped one apart. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so be careful with it. But anyway, as you can see, you can see that notch up above my finger. That notch is what turns and tells it yes or no. And if it's in the wrong spot, then it's a no button. And if it's in the right spot, it's a yes button. Now, because these are plastic, that leads me to believe that you could beat this with just sheer brute force and it, nothing more. Now, you, I, I wouldn't recommend taking these apart because, as you can see, these little little guys are kind of kind of tricky to take apart and put back together again. But uh, yeah, that's seriously all there is in there. So I really feel like what you could do is just bash all the numbers with the hammer and then with the switch down maybe. Oops. Bash all the numbers with the hammer with the switch down and then it will open as well. But I think it might almost be faster to pick it than it would be to do that. So then it just simply goes back together same way it came apart. Oh, I'm gonna take this key off so I can see better. Come on down, there we are. And this thing just lines right back up into place. Or something. <laughs> or it's supposed to. There we go. Just like that. And once those are all in there like that. And you just squeeze this all back together again. 
put it back together. And then you twist, you have to twist all these once and they'll click, they'll drop back down into place. I feel like I'm the first one that's ever taken one apart on video for YouTube. I haven't seen any of the major people do it, so there it is. I just wanted to show you real quick what happens when you adjust these. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little arrow on this. And like it says, if the arrows are pointed, uh, oh, this, that direction is off and that direction is on. So I just want to turn them and it'll click. I don't know if you can hear it, but I certainly can physically feel it click. I'm just going to turn them all off. Another thing that I feel is worth mentioning is that it appears as though this is the back of the box. It appears as though it would be possible with an extended bit to get down in there and remove at least two of the screws. Let's see this side. So anyway, it's possible to remove at least two of the screws from behind, which is more than enough to pop it open. If you could get the screws to come up enough to to loosen that back part, then this this right here would fail. And it wouldn't work anymore. Or I mean it wouldn't matter if it were here, it would just drop. That hinge would drop down out of there. This piece would fall out. I'm pretty certain.